I think that what I want to express to you is how much of a blessing this is for everyone. Oh, thank oh, you. Well, that's nice. It that's is. Ni- it is nice. First of all, I think it's brave. And I think it's just we all are kind of have been on tippy toes, you know, of, you know, watching how this has kind of unfolded. So I just want to thank you not only, well, you know, what can I thank you for? You're, you're you. You're you and you, you're you embarked on this adventure. And um, it's just wonderful and that you're sharing it is um, a really lovely thing. So thank you both for being willing to, what do they say in the old days, take the plunge? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You know, because it's one thing to like each other and another thing to love each other and want to make a commitment. Yeah. So, um, what kind of service are you going to have? It's going to be a spiritual union. I have certain family members who, for reasons of their own, are concerned about me getting married. And so, it was agreed that we're going to have a spiritual union. Anything you want to say about that, dear? I think it's, I think it's a wonderful idea. Mm-hmm. And John's such a gentle human being. Because I kind of heard as the journey has been going on about your family and all that kind mm-hmm. of thing. And I was like, oh, man, you know, I wonder how they're going to handle that. Because well, families can be, you know, kind of intrusive <laughs> problems sometimes. Oh, yes. And so um, I thought that that was a really wonderful and creative way to answer that question yeah. about how to express. Because, I mean, I'm assuming what you're wanting to do is publicly express your commitment and your feelings for each other. Yes. Yeah. And I thought that that was a really lovely solution. Yes. And of course, I've had it on my calendar for, you know, months. (laughs) (laughs) And I've never fallen in love before. That's so hard to believe. Can you imagine this cutie pie running around and not fall? I I bet you there were girls and women just falling all over you. And there you are striding through. Yeah. Yeah. She has these scenarios that have nothing to do with reality, but that's okay. They're always complimentary. Yeah. But I'm just, I'm absolutely delighted to have met her and to have fallen in love with her. And falling in love with her, I understand why people write songs about love. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you, darling. Oh, I am in love. (laughs) <laughs> and I love you, sweetheart. You are the gentlest person I've ever known. Oh, well, that's, that's very, very nice. And I think and it must be your Buddhism that I think it's that. just that sitting still and letting that be the way things go. When there's a choice to be made, I choose the gentle choice. As Reverend Master Koshin described the training, it's like what they do when they polish rocks. You just kind of bump against each other enough, and the rough edges are knocked off. And it's good to have the rough edges knocked off. We both consider ourselves very lucky. Yeah. (laughs) And I love her beyond description. Oh, you're so sweet. I love you. I love you. (laughs) Is that the kind of stuff you're looking for? (laughs) You are so cute. <laughs> <laughs>